Hey everyone, so this is our dog Gracie and she graced us with her presence about a week after we lost our dog Stella. Um, she is Stella's niece and she looks a lot like her and uh, I wanted to come on here. This time of year is the time that I do a video every single year talking about uh, water intoxication when it comes to your dogs. Now, it's mostly prevalent in working dogs or dogs that love to swim. And it's also mostly present in uh, smaller dogs because what happens is they take on too much water and it throws off the it too quickly and it throws off the electrolytes in their body and their organs start to shut down. So um, I wanted to hop on here and talk a little bit about it today. It's a lot like dry drowning in kids, um, but most people don't know about it. Most people don't know that it happens. Most people don't know uh, what the signs are. And I think it's really important that we talk about it because we didn't know if we could have prevented it. Obviously we would have. We talked to our breeder. Our breeder didn't know about it. There's so many people that are unaware of what water intoxication is um, that I like to come on and talk about it this time of year because if we can save somebody else else's pet or another family from going through the tragedy that we did we want to do that it was absolutely horrific for us um, Stella was our first baby uh, she uh, is a mini Australian Shepherd we spent tons of time at the beach days and days and days and days and days at the beach um, and she was a great swimmer we spent a lot of time in the water so we never even thought of this um, but one day we had gone to the lake and my husband and I were there for about 45 minutes with our daughter and the dog and we were all swimming in, or actually we were at the river, we were at Couchin River and we were swimming at the river and Stella always followed us, she was always in the river with us and we threw a couple of sticks in, well one of the sticks was waterlogged and it sunk so she dove down to get the stick a couple of times and I thought in my head, can dogs drown? Like, can they actually drown? And I thought, no, she's such a good swimmer, like she'll be okay. Um, and. I, I didn't feel very comfortable, but I didn't think very much of it. And then we dried off and we came home and all of a sudden she was not okay. Uh, she was peeing uncontrollably in the house and outside, which wasn't normal. She was, um, she was shaking. She was, she couldn't stand. It was like she was drunk, like she would fall over. She didn't have any balance. She was drooling uncontrollably. She could barely open her eyes. They were like really dilated and squinty. She was panting. Um, we tried to feed her and she threw up and she always ate everything. Um, so we knew something was wrong. So I started Googling, can, can dogs drown? and they can um, they can uh, take on too much water too quickly and and drown and dry drown so even though she'd come home I started googling and the only two symptoms that she didn't have from water intox intoxication was seizure and death it happens very quickly and even if you catch it you may or may not have the opportunity to get them to the vet and be able to save them but I'm gonna give you a couple of tips that you can do at the end of this to tell you exactly how you can save your dog so basically we as soon as I figured out that that's I thought that that's what it was I threw Stella in the car I drove hey 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 hey, hey. she likes motorcycles hey 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 um I, I threw Stella in the car and drove way too fast to a vet hospital that was open about 40 minutes from my house it was the only one that was open I got there and there must have been a shift change so we sat in the waiting room for about 45 minutes I took her outside to pee a couple of times because she had to pee she was trying to pee all the time like trying to get the water out I think and um, and then we got into the room and she started perking up. She was kind of walking around, she was sniffing, she was starting to be herself again. And I was like, oh God, okay, she's gonna be okay. So the vet assistant comes in and she says, oh, she's starting to act normal again. I said, yeah, I was really worried that she took on too much water, like maybe she was drowning, like dry drowning, like water intoxication. I looked it up, these are the symptoms, this is what we experienced. And she said, oh, I just think she ate something. I think she ate something bad at the beach. And I thought, oh, maybe that was it. And I thought, what a silly overprotective dog mom to run to the vet clinic and like, be absolutely ridiculous and worried so much that your dog is gonna die um, and and I I was just so thankful that she was okay so I said to the vet um, assistant I said well what do you think we should do should we do blood work or you know if, if it's a toxin or whatever she's like no dogs process it and uh, she's like do you still want to see the vet and I was like well do you think I need to see the vet this was my first mistake I said do you think I need to see the vet and they said no she said no and I said okay well um, 
like, where should we go from here? And she said, well, if she has symptoms again, then you can come back or you can call us. I would called the whole way there. I'm like, you know, like anything I looked up on the internet, it was that she was going to pass away very quickly. So I was terrified. And the vet assistant said, no, I think she's fine. She'll pass. It'll pass. She's starting to perk up again. Just keep, keep monitoring her. So we got home and she was really lethargic, really tired, like not herself. The next day, she was about 60% better. She was still pretty tired, lying around on the couch. Like she perked up, she ate, she was, you know, she kept her food down, she was fine. And then the third day, she was totally herself, running around the yard, like super happy, barking, excited. Um, and one of our friends was up at the lake and she said, why don't you come up for the day? It was 30 degrees. Like, why don't you come up for the day and cool off? Um, so we packed up Izzy and packed up Stella and went up to the lake. And, you know, we were still kind of nervous about Stella. So we just kind of brought her into the water and got her wet. We weren't, we didn't want her to swim or anything. And, um, and she, she started showing symptoms very quickly within about 10 minutes of being in the water, like, or around the water, she like went back to drooling, um, not being able to stand. And we, we knew something was wrong right away. So I started calling the vet there. The vet was closed. We were about 40 minutes from the closest vet that was closing at 6 PM. And I was like, please stay open. We won't make it to Nanaimo. I knew she wasn't going to make it. And, um, we jumped in the car, threw Izzy in the car. Um, I picked Stella up and I was holding her in my arms. And unfortunately in, on that drive, that horrific drive, um, Stella had a seizure in my my arms and then we pulled over and like tried to help her and then she had another seizure and she died five minutes before we got to the vet hospital and it was absolutely horrific my heart was breaking in pieces if you've ever had your first dog um, pass away being helpless and having them in your arms is one of the worst things that can ever happen and uh, I was heartbroken. I was upset. It was just like one of the worst things that ever happened to us. And I said from then on there, every year I was going to do a video and tell people that this could happen and tell people that, um, you know, water intoxication is a thing for dogs, especially if they're swimmers. Um, what you can do to make sure it doesn't happen to your dog is take breaks. Make sure that the sticks you are throwing float or you're using a ball that floats. Um, but really just be conscious and take breaks because if you break up the time um, th that they're in the water and they have time for their electrolytes to even out, then they'll be fine. But we didn't know. And that lack of knowledge cost us one of our favorite things on the whole in the whole world. And uh, I think now, I think back to it now, and I, I think Stella and this story is going to save a lot of other people and their dogs. If you have a dog and you've never heard about water intoxication, watch the whole video. Um, if you know people that have dogs, your family or friends have dogs, take them in the video, share the video with them, send it in a private message. Because I wish, I wish I had known. I wish I had known. My breeder didn't know. My friends didn't know when I started talking about it. And we could have saved a life. So... I hope that, um, you know, this tragedy will spare somebody else the heartache that we went through. Uh, you know, we're fine now. We have Gracie who graced us and Larry David, um, and they, you know, they filled the void, but we'll never forget Stella. And, uh, and I hope never, uh, another family doesn't ever have to go through what we did. Uh, hope that was valuable to you and please share with a friend that has a dog. You could save a life.